Right, so today I'm here with Jane Gray. Um, Jane is another Clarity Coach. We trained together on Jamie Smart's Clarity Coach training, which I think finished last July, doesn't it, Jane? Yeah, June or July. Yes, in 2019. Um, and I know that when we met, you were working as a business coach, but you've come full circle since then, haven't you? And you're back to doing more kind of well-being type coaching, yeah. is that right? that's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, um, and obviously with a sort of clarity approach to that. So I wanted to start by asking you, can you just tell us a little bit about the kind of work that you do with your clients? Yeah, so thank you for asking me to come on, Sorrel. I, I like chatting, so let's hope yeah. this goes very well. <laughs> um, yeah, so the kind of work that I do, as I say, I've come full, full circle, um, which is interesting with a few diversions off in between yeah. but generally the work I do is with women so it's so it's people who've um who are on a similar journey to to the one that I've been on which I think yes. is quite a common thing for us coaches to do um and it's women who feel a little bit like they've lost a sense of who they are right um and I work with them to to help them to to help them to realize that actually they've not lost anything about who they are. Um, they probably just never realized who they truly are in the first place. Um, and that person that they think they've lost wasn't really who they truly were. <laughs> um, so it's helping them to sort of uncover all of that, that stuff that we've already got going on for us inside. Yes. Um, because what I've noticed certainly on my journey is that when we get into that place of feeling separate, and feeling as though we're not sure who we are and all of that overthinking that comes with it. Yeah. Then there's a full load of intense emotions attached to that thinking. Um, so it's kind of helping women to be sort of free from that, free from those intense emotions, freer from the, the overthinking. Um, so that they've, they've just got more clarity about who they, who they are and what they actually want to do when they're able to go out there and do it. Okay. Um, so how do you how would you say that the principles kind of impacts on the way you work with women in that situation I and mean, you talked about who they truly are what yeah. else would you say about that yeah so so i had an inkling from quite a young age that there was um a little bit more to being human than i kind of realized and so mm -hmm. I, so i had this curiosity about what it is to be human and uh, how the mind impacts us yeah. and uh, I've gone on a, a long and varied journey exploring all sorts of stuff to to kind of find out what that little missing piece is yeah um and I I left work and I trained to become a coach because that seemed like the you know the natural thing to do so I did lots of training I did NLP training I did neuro I've done some neuroscience I've done coaching and it all was kind of leading me down a path but what I found with some of the coaching was that it felt um a little bit too rigid so I've right. done things like grow model coaching and it just, I really couldn't get on with that because I was always veering off and going yes. with my intuition. <laughs> it's like, oh no, which part of the model am I supposed to be doing now? <laughs> so, and I, and I kind of gave myself a hard time thinking, oh, I'm a really bad coach because I can't, I can't even work my way through a grow model kind of, you know, coaching model. Um, so when I, so when I discovered Jamie, and I know we're going to come on to that, it's um it kind of it kind of filled in the missing piece about who we truly are yeah. and and it just c completed that particular picture for me at that time i suppose so um you know i think we we tend to think who we really are is all of these different roles that we play and all of the personality traits that we label ourselves with or other people label us with um and so it's helping to strip all of that away and all of yes. this thinking so that yeah. actually we can, we can realize actually we're, we're way more than that. Oh, so I was going to come on now to the question of when you came across the principles, was that through Jamie or did you come across principles before Jamie? 
oh no I didn't have a clue about the principles even when I met Jamie I didn't have a clue about the principles oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I met Jamie and I, he, he must have popped up on Facebook not quite sure how um and I found myself being really drawn to what he was saying I could kind of hear some truth in there yes and um and I we had a few uh, messenger conversations. I went to a boardroom event saying to myself, you're not going to sign up to another course. You've done enough. And then I signed up to clarity. <laughs> <laughs> um, but even at that point, I don't think I realized that what Jamie was doing or talking about was, was a, you know, a thing. I know it's not a thing, but you know, I didn't know it had a, a name. The, you know the the name three principles behind it all right, the principles yeah. behind clarity I didn't even realize that at the time but I just heard I heard something in what he said and how he was that really resonated with me and then you came to learn about the principles through Jamie yeah 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 wow what a, you know that's amazing yeah. Just, yeah and as you said it it's changed the way you coach and it's changed the perspective you coach from hasn't it yes absolutely yeah yeah um, so rather than th there's a lot less um getting hung up on what i'm supposed to be doing yeah for the coaching there's not as much preparation for coaching it is really about um showing up yeah and, you know and doing what comes actually which is kind of what i was doing anyway i just thought i was doing it wrong you know um so yeah it's um it's made it's somehow made it feel lighter mm -hmm. the whole coaching process um yeah and just and you know often s the sessions are very quiet and still yeah uh, for me as well as the as the client you know there's i don't have all of that second guessing i suppose going on which um which i used to have and so because it's quieter you get better results i imagine yeah, yeah. and that always surprises me and and i think the other thing is as you know when we're sitting there opposite a client we just never know what we never know what the result is we never know what the outcome is going to be and, and that sometimes uh, it, well it still surprises me you know when that insight comes for them yes and you can see it and, and you ask them what it is and it's just like oh, wow <laughs> i know and then yeah. we learn as well don't we absolutely yeah. yeah yeah a lot yeah we're in a very privileged privileged position when we're doing this kind of work i think yeah yeah i'd agree we are yeah so is there anything unique about the way you coach um well, I suppose we're all unique, so we all bring something different. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I tend to coach when it's appropriate from a, a place of lightheartedness. So there is often an element of humour in, mm -hmm. in the sessions. But as I say, that's, you know, when it's appropriate. Yes. Um, and because I think if we can laugh at things you know, and add, a, add a, a sort of a lighter, hold things with a lighter touch, I suppose, then it's, you know, it, it's part of the journey of um, realising that things are not quite so serious as we thought in the first place. Yeah. Um, and I do use, I use a model that I created, I suppose that's unique as well. And, and that's just a very, a very loose framework that I use when I'm coaching clients. Mm hmm uh, and, I, and I say it's very loose just because sometimes people like to know, you know, where they're, where they're starting and where they're ending up. Right. Okay. So yeah, it's so, a very yeah. fluid kind of model. Um, so, yeah, but I think, I think you, the uniqueness is, is, is me and, you know, what, and, yeah. the, and the relationship we have. Uh, There's no I, other Jane Grey. No, there is no another <laughs> joke. <right now>. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you, what do you see as being the role of innate wisdom? 
in the change that you see in yourself and in your clients? Yeah, innate wisdom. That's kind of a big question, isn't it? What's the it role of quite a big like, you know, what's the role of this amazing force? <laughs> um, <laughs> but I suppose it's its role is you know being an inner guide. Um, if it you know if you're going to have a, a role for it, so. So being that um, quiet and still voice that comes mm -hmm. through when all of that thinking is quietened down a little bit. Yes. Um, and, and paying attention to it and actually seeing it for the amazing thing that it is, because I think too often, you know, it's always working away there in the background, nudging us and, you know, doing its stuff and we just kind of go well yeah that's just common sense or, oh yeah but that's just you know human nature or whatever whatever we oh it's just a you know we'll just kind of take it for granted almost um and i think once we once we see how amazing innate wisdom is and how it's always there um then then we can see we see it more it's almost i'm trying to think of an analogy and it's not coming so i'm just going to leave that but it's it's almost like the picture becoming clear and actually seeing it for what it really is and then you just see it more often um do you know to, does, does that it, make sense is it like that thing where you see something once and then you keep seeing it because it's been pointed out to you that first time is yeah. that what you mean yeah yeah you yeah. kind of recognize it more it shows yes. us, oh, oh, there it is again, kind of thing, you know. Yes. Yeah. And it was there all along, but we didn't see it until that moment. And then once we've seen it, we can't not see it. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, going on Jamie's, what, what Jamie shows us, you know, it's like the FedEx logo. Oh, that's, yes. So yes. There all our... along. Now, whenever I see FedEx, I'm always seeing the spoon and the, the arrow. Yeah. It's that yeah. kind of yeah it's just like that isn't it yeah, yeah. that's right yeah it did come after all and the, and the pictures of the old woman and the young one you know oh uh, that old yeah the young when one with the hat with it. a big feather in it and the old woman that's right yeah crony nose yeah so once you see it you can kind of see it clear more clearly the, the next time yeah there's loads of examples of that kind of thing aren't there yeah loads there's one of a snake and you see all you see is black and white squares and triangles and things and then they put the colour in and you see the snake oh. and then when it gets black and white again you, you can't not see the snake mm. so it's a similar kind of thing, it's like the way that your mind processes things suddenly it's, it's as clear as day yeah. yeah so I think we're going to talk a little bit about the relationship between work and our personal lives oh gosh um <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? <laughs> <laughs> well, for some people, it's quite kind of compartmentalised, isn't it? Or yeah, it tries to be compartmentalised. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, the work that I do now is very different to the work that I did previously. Um, and I mentioned earlier as well that, you know, I I feel as though I'm in a very privileged position when I'm, working with somebody mm -hmm. because that you know and we, we talked about this so we're, i'm learning as well as they're yeah. as they're seeing things somehow it, it helps me to see things as well yeah um so i think there is you know that coaching and and my life is kind of linked when i'm when i'm coaching people um and as I mentioned, the journey that I help people along, you know, their starting point and where they're going to end up is similar to the journey that I've been on anyway. Yeah. So it's, you know, there's always an element of me learning something new and um, it linking into, because, 
because the other person is a human being having a human experience and that is what I'm doing too so there is a there's kind of an overlap um and that's you know and I love that too it's it's just we just never know everything and I know it's not about seeking information or knowledge or um or anything like that but there is just always something new waiting to present itself um and whether i'm you know whether we're open to actually seeing that or, or not is another matter but but that's the sense i get when i'm working with people um and the work i do is that it's very it's you know it, there is a link between the two um, and then as you see it for yourself you can point it out more readily for your clients can't you yeah because it'll be there for your clients as well just as much yeah 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 and i think and i think the other thing about that sorrel is that when you know when we're caught up in all of that thinking about what's going on for us or speaking from a, a client's perspective you know the moment that they verbalize that and then you know somebody reflects it back to them in whatever way we re reflect it back to them it is that can be very powerful as well yes and as, as you say, then there is sometimes a, um, you know, it's, it's kind of hearing it for the first time. And if I've had an experience that I, that it feels right to share, then they can, they can learn from that too. Yeah. yeah. And people, people relate to our stories, don't they? Yeah. When, when you tell somebody a story, they'll see themselves in it. Yeah, I've got loads of stories. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. It's an endless store. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so is there anything else you'd like to add before we wind up? Um, I don't think so. I think that kind of, that kind of covers it. I mean... I, you know, I just think that um, the whole clarity thing has probably been been the thing that's had the most impact on my life. All right. Um, and it turns out that I kind of knew I kind of knew how it worked anyway, but but doing the, you know, the training and being amongst people who are doing the training, mm. it just, uh, it kind of made it more real and more understandable for me. Um, yeah. And, it, you know, and I think you get to a point where it's difficult to remember then what it was like before you kind of recognised or realised or remembered or whatever, how things do work. Yeah, I know for me, if I look back to the time before, just seems a bit of a fog and I can't remember what it was like yeah yeah which is probably a good thing actually Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well thank you for that um Jane I was going to say if you can give me some co contact details in case anybody would like to contact you sure be great. So, so the best way is via Facebook um my page is at the unstuck coach at the unstuck coach okay. yeah and if people are not on facebook they can email me at info uh -huh. at janegraycoaching.co.uk janegraycoaching.co.uk okay and um, we'll put that up on in words as well so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but thank you that was brilliant i really enjoyed the conversation that's fantastic yeah, it's been lovely. Thank you, Sorrel. Yeah, I'm going to 